Hey, what is going on guys? It's Connie here from Menu Docs, and welcome back to a new video on the channel. In today's recording, what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be making a kick command. Now, obviously, I have this set up already, uh, just to um, speed up the process a little bit. Uh, it just means it's a lot easier on myself and also a lot easier on everyone else. If you don't know how to set this thing up, go back to the previous episode and it will be just there. Also, you could just pause the video and copy it. Now, the first thing we're going to do is in the last episode, we uh, did a ban and soft ban command. And obviously, we started it off exactly like this by checking if the guild member object has, um, has permission to be able to perform the command. And in this episode, we're going to be looking at kick underscore members instead of ban underscore members. And we're also going to be checking for administrator. And if they do not have this, we're just going to return it. Basically, we're going to return, um, not just turn, we're going to return message dot channel dot send. You, sir, don't have permission. You don't have permission to perform this command. Bam. That's not how you spell command. Command. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to let kick member equal message dot mentions dot um, dot members dot first and then we're going to use an or operator and if you don't know what an or operator is please do go um, google it and then we're going to look for the message dot members and we're also going to get the args zero now if someone doesn't provide a member so we're going to do uh, if they don't provide a kick member we're going to say message um, we're going to return message dot channel that send um, please provide a user to kick now what we're gonna do next is we're also gonna obviously define reason let reason equal args dot slice one and then we're gonna join it so join and we're gonna have a space in between then if we don't have args if args doesn't exist Oh, sorry, if reasons don't exist, we're going to let reason equal no reason given. Now, for the final bit, we're going to check if the message author, um, sorry, check if the bot, which is the message author technically, no, it's not, okay, doesn't have permission. And then we're just going to pretty much copy this part because we, we want to check if the guild member has permission to do X as well as this. And obviously... If they don't, we'll return it saying message dot channel dot send. Um, I don't have permission to do this. Now we're gonna look at this. We're gonna go back through this, and this is basically what this does. It checks the member of the message who sent the message to be able to ban the user to see if they have kick members or administrator, which is a guild permission in which only guild members can possess. Now a lot of people get it mixed up with obviously a user. Um, if I was to change that to message.author, that would be a user object. Therefore, it would not obviously work because users don't have permissions. However, guild members do. A lot of people get mixed up about this. Now, if the message member, which is the guild member, doesn't have permission to perform this command, it will return this message. Return means it will not go past this point and read the rest of the code. Now, let kick member equals uh, the first mentioned member of the guild. Um, this, uh, the message mentions there is channels, guild, uh, there's channels, there is roles, there is members, and there is users. There is four different things you can check for. In this case, we're using members because we want to be able to kick a guild member. You can't kick a user from a guild because, obviously, a user isn't really recognized in a guild. Now, what we're checking here is we're checking for someone's ID or someone's long, which is basically just a bunch of numbers, uh, which is someone's ID. Now, if they don't, uh, sorry, now, if they don't mention someone or they don't put an ID in or the ID comes back invalid, it will say this because this is checking for a valid guild member. And now if there is an invalid guild member, then it will say that, no, there is no guild member that is here. And then it's going to say, please provide someone to, uh, to kick. So basically, if this turns null, this will fire and obviously return the code again, not reading anything below it. Now, reasons, um, this args will select all the args and so the message content. We've provided this. Uh, we passed it through our command caller. 
Um, args is defined as message array dot slice one, which gets rid of the command. And this basically here slices the uh, mentioned user or the ID and then joins it with also a space. And if there is no reason given, meaning there is literally nothing after the mention or the ID, it will put that in. All right, now that we have explained this stuff, what we want to do is we now want to actually kick the member. So we're going to do kick member dot send, and then we're going to send them a message like we did before. And I think it was just, hello, you have been kicked from uh, message dot dot guild dot name and then for and then sorry reason and then i think that was it and then we did a dot then we have an empty parameter uh, empty function sorry and then we did that and then we also did kick member dot kick and actually kick them and we're not going to put a reason in this one um, and then we're going to catch and then error and then sorry that did not do what i wanted console.log and then error we're going to console log the error and what we're going to do is we're actually just going to quickly go to the band command and we're just going to grab the embed grab grab this actually this whole section here and bring it down one do that we we'll change all the stuff right here now if you want to copy this be sure to uh check out the github or you can just copy it right now. Just press pause and copy it. And then we'll change this one to kick. Member has been kicked. Righto. Now I think that is everything that we've needed. So blah, 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 check that. And now, now we're gonna quickly run the bot and then it should be all good in the hood. Right, now if we go back down to development testing, we're going to kick, what does it say? Please provide a user. Now, if we provide a user, we're, gonna, we're actually going to use the same person. If we can go back and find them, where are they? Are they up here? Or well, not, they're not. They're back offline again. Brilliant. All right, and then I'm going to grab that ID. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go here. Kick via ID. We're going to say test. And then their tag has been kicked. And then the moderation goes here and that is pretty much it guys anyways thank you so much for watching this video if you want to find this code where you can just copy and paste it because a lot of people are actually really lazy i've explained a lot in this video but obviously some people are just lazy and want to copy it um you can find it on the github the github is always in the description with every video and if you don't know how to use github then um obviously that's a you issue but I'm actually just going to show you real quick. You can go to the uh, github.com forward slash menu docs. You can go to uh, Discord tutorials. And then if you go to this branch thing, you can go down and you'll find all the episodes right here for you to click and find the code for that episode. Anyways, I just want to thank you for watching this video. This has been Connor from Menu Docs, and I hope you have a wonderful day. See you in the next one. Peace.